We'll start by making a daisy now. Start by making the daisy centers. Start by winding a coil. After crocheting through the loop, hook a loop in from the inside of the loop. Bring the wire around, make a chain. Next, make five single crochets inside the coil. One, two, three, four, five. Five single crochet, pulling the coils tight when done. Then do a slip stitch inside the last coil. After a slip stitch, making the second coil. The second loop is two single crochet hits inside a coil. Hook up a chain first. Then hook two single crochet in each coil. Two single crochet hooks per coil. After knitting, there are 10 single crochets on the second lap. Then our flower centers are in yellow thread. Now we need petals. For the petals, you'll need white thread. Pull out this cotton thread. Take the white line. Let's switch to white cotton yarn to knit this daisy. This petal of a daisy. The stamen has been made. From this place we proceed to the weaving of the petals. After passing through these two coils, pass the cotton thread through the center. Remove the marking clasp. Make a slip stitch here. After that, we do 7 chain immediately afterward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven chain. Here we pull out the cotton coils. Pull it out and cut off the yellow cotton threads. Seven chains later, knit four single crochet from the third loop. Take a look at it from the third coil 1, 2, 3 from this coil. Hook 1 half double crochet. Pull out the fixation pins. Hook a half double crochet from the third coil. Pull the cotton threads out. Then hook four of the same, starting with the bottom coil. Four and a half double crochets later, we hook a single crochet. Next, we'll hook a slip stitch in the center of the flower. Stiction. Then we'll repeat this step. That's one petal done. After repeating this step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains in the hook. After that, crochet winding, half double crochet from the third coil, one, two, three. Go around and hook down, four and a half double crochet stitches in total.
then do a slip stitch inside the next coil. The second petal is done. Repeat for the second petal. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then the wire is wound on the third coil from the That's a total of 4 hooks. After the 4, we'll hook a chain. The next coil does a slip stitch. Finish the circle like this in this order. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, winding, 3rd coil. Repeat the previous steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. Each petal is for single crochet, for half double crochet. The last single crochet, then the next coil does a slip stitch. After repeating the previous steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three on the third coil from the four and a half double crochets, single crochet. Repeat the previous knitting process over and over again. Ultimate. It's all a slip stitch in the middle of this petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The final thread is wrapped around a crochet hook. One, two, three at the start of the third coil. One, two, three, four, make a single crochet underneath. Do a slip stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three.
single crochet. Make a slip stitch in the coil. Before continuing to repeat the previous steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are continue. Okay, in the next coil, and we are done. We are all done with the daisy petals. Cut the cotton thread. Pull out this thread. Let's see how many petals we've finished. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 petals in all. After completion, we dispose of the excess cotton thread. Cotton thread through a needle. Sew it in. Next, we put the wire on. Start by folding the wire in half once. Then fold it in half again. Fold in four. After passing through the center of the flower, once you're through, tighten the threads. Don't let it get too loose. We put glue sticks on it. Press it. Then we look at the excess cotton thread in the back. Should it be dealt with? Finally, we are making a flower center. With a total of two flower centers, trim the excess cotton thread from the back of the flower center. Cut all the threads. Glue two more flower centers together and you're done. Also with a glue stick. 